The Lowry Berwick Trail continues to the next information board at location 7, known as the Football Match. The Football Match is an undated sketch made with pencil and ballpoint pen. A game of football is taking place on the Stanks. This is a Scottish word meaning ditch as the pitch lies in the former moat of the Elizabethan walls which form the backdrop to the scene. To portray the crowd, Lowry has used short, stubby vertical strokes in a highly effective form of shorthand. Fewer, less regular, more animated strokes capture the frantic activity in the goal mouth below Brass Bastion. The camera now reveals the site of the football field. A side-by-side -side comparison shows the similar perspectives of the football field. The pitch is not marked out on the current photo. Location 8 is sited on a road bridge, giving a distance view of the town hall, the subject of the next picture on the Lowry Berwick Trail. The town hall is an oil on canvas dated 1935 and is Lowry's first oil painting of Berwick. Lowry was captivated by the way in which the steeple of the Georgian Town Hall dominated the Berwick skyline, but in his painting he has made it taller than it is in reality. The colourful buildings on either side of the street, with their enormous chimneys, are entirely fanciful. The tiny, chaplinesque figures divide to make their way down either side of the Town Hall, just as water flows around a rock. The entrance forms a dark, mysterious void in the centre of the composition. The camera now reveals the current view of the Town Hall. A side-by-side -side comparison shows Lowry's interpretation of the view to the Town Hall and how it has remained nearly intact. Location 9 is close to the Town Hall at Strothers Yard, located in Old Berwick. Strothers Yard was one of Lowry's favourite corners of the town. The rather grim geometry and oblique eroticism of the scene haunted him. The painting of Berwick Old Town is an oil on plywood, dated 1958. The looming central spire of the town hall dominates the painting which is divided into two halves. The town hall clock resembles an all-seeing eye. The buildings and the paving stones seem to rush headlong towards the archway. The people, too, are drawn towards it in some mysterious way. The original view can no longer be recreated due to private access. A side-by-side -side comparison is shown with James Wallace's much earlier interpretation of the view. Location 10 is found at the end of the old bridge over the River Tweed and is known as Bridge End. Bridge End is a Lowry oil on canvas painting dated 1938. Skillfully placed patches of pure red paint, Lowry's favourite colour, draw you into this composition. Many of the women wear scarlet bonnets, even the tiniest figures in the background. By organising such bright colour in this way, Lowry has created a remarkably cheerful mood in the painting. The little boy with spindly legs stepping out so purposefully in the centre 
lends humour to the scene. The town hall no longer looks so grim and is reduced to a ghostly presence in the distance. The side-by-side -side comparison shows how the scene has changed from Lowry's vision. Location 11 is known as Sallyport and is a narrow alleyway similar to Dewar's Lane and just a short distance away on Bridge Street. Sallyport or Old Street in Berwick-upon-Tweed is an oil on board painting by Lowry dated 1954. The archway leads through the walls down to the quayside where the fishing fleet would gather every summer. The panelled building on the right with the large window was a joiner's workshop which has since been demolished. The steps lead up to the quay walls as well as archways, railings and flights of steps constantly recur in Lowry's paintings. The camera now reveals the current view of the alleyway known as Sallyport. A side-by-side -side comparison shows the changes up to the current time with the steps up to the quay and the overall view remaining. The Lowry Berwick Trail continues over the River Tweed to reach location 12 on Lane Street in Tweedmouth. Old Property is a Lowry oil on canvas painting dated 1943. The cottages in this painting date from the 18th century. Most of the activity takes place around the entrance to number 48 on the right, but the tall smoking chimneys never existed outside Lowry's imagination. The distant building with the flagpole is equally fanciful. It marks the exact centre of the composition and is found in many of Lowry's paintings around this time and a little earlier. Further information about the painting is described on the info board. The camera now reveals the current scene as shown in the Lowry painting, known as Old Property. A side-by-side -side comparison shows how the current scene has changed from Lowry's interpretation as detailed in his painting from 1943. The Berwick Lowry Trail completes its journey in part three of the three-part series.